We're, We're the, the Croppers. We gave our kids a house. And $45,000 to fix it up. And, and we, we can't, can't wait, wait to see what happens. Welcome back to a, another episode of showing you guys the house every Monday, which actually we switched it to Thursdays now because um, it worked better for everyone's schedule. So today we're gonna talk about communication between me, David Eden, and my dad. Basically, last week I told you guys we had to turn on the electricity because we turned it on, but like something happened to it. And then we were all ready to talk to Duke Energy. Dub was like, on the phone with them, and then uh, Eden was like, oh, I turned off the breaker like a week ago, or two weeks ago, and we were like, what the heck is wrong with you, basically? Um, because we had this guy, Jerry, come over here, but he couldn't do any work with me on anything because the electricity wasn't on, and then we were about to spend like a 100 bucks to like, get it already running again for this guy to come over here just to turn on the breaker. Which, I guess we should have checked the breaker. I didn't think anyone would turn it off though. But apparently Eden did. And yeah, because we didn't talk to each other or communicate. We were like ready to blow like lots of money on all these things. I tried turning on the electricity last week and I was gonna show that to you guys show you guys that we were making progress, but it wasn't on, so hopefully... What I'm gonna do today is put light bulbs in all of the lights so that we can see in here better. And like, we also come in here sometimes in the dark, like if I forget to take out the trash, then I'll come in here and it's hard to see. So yeah, I am going to go put in some new light bulbs. This is the moment of truth. It's perfect. We have light now, officially. All right, added electricity and lights to the house. So now Dove and Eden are going to be talking to the camera about <clears throat> like how bad our communication has been lately because Eden has been the one who's like, we need to have a meeting once or twice a week and go to the bank once a week. And me and Dove were like, no we don't. But apparently my dad said that Eden was right, which she was, because our communication was terrible this week. Um, but we're gonna be filming once a week, every Thursday, uh, instead of Monday. And it's gonna go like, I vlog one time, then Eden, then Dove, then we start over. So it's like, I'm in charge of the vlog every three weeks, basically. But I can't really, I can't come up with a name for this segment, so I put them down in the comments or something, I don't know. Okay, so today we are gonna be giving an update on the house that Dove and Seven and I are trying to fix up. Last week, we finally all got together and my dad kind of gave us like a wake up call. He was like, hey, just so you know, this is normal, but this house has been sitting here. You guys, I'm not saying that you haven't been doing anything, but this, this, and this has been left undone and I think you guys should schedule a meeting once a week. So, we did. Um, we had our first meeting, and we came up with a to-do list of things that we wanted to do this week, and then we gave each person a couple of things to do. So, my jobs this week were to contact the bank and make sure that, because 
The lady who had been doing our banking stuff had called Dove a couple times, so I tried to call her back and she didn't answer. So I walked down to the bank um, the day before yesterday and they said she was busy, but that they could take my phone number and then she would give me a call, which hasn't happened yet. So I think I'm going to try and call her again. And then if that still doesn't work, I'm going to walk down there. My other jobs were to work on this vlog. Me, Dev, and Seven are switching off filming every Thursday to give updates on the house. So this week was mine. And then I was supposed to remind my mom, which is actually Dove, to call the Northern Kentucky Water District about the water in the house. So the to-do list that we made is right here. And it's kind of chaotic, but you can kind of see that each person has a job or several jobs. When we had the meeting, like my dad he kind of like uh, felt so like I everything that he was saying I like had been feeling before but like I hadn't been I don't know disciplined enough to actually make sure that it like gets done. So that was kind of hard to listen to. But I think right now like we're going down whatever the right path i guess i'm so glad that we finally scheduled a meeting now all we have to do is make sure that everyone shows up to the next one and everyone has to do their jobs so yeah it took a long time but we have a meeting once a week i hope everyone shows up to it and this way it's a lot smarter because things get each person has their own job and then it like all connects back to the meeting and then people things that didn't get done can get talked about and like there's just so it's so much more organized i think now dub is going to share her perspective I think she's mostly gonna talk about the bad communication between me and her or just like how we do things differently, so. Um, so we got this house about a month ago and so far the biggest struggle has been all getting along with each other, which I definitely anticipated and uh, I didn't expect it to be this hard though. I think I should have because I know how hard it is to just work on a house by yourself and to only have to answer to yourself. So I should have known that it would have been three times as hard to have to talk to two other people and to answer to yourself and to figure out some everything and to agree on everything and to keep moving with it. I really want to get to a place where we can meet at least once a week, state some goals, set some goals for everyone, and then pound them out. And I hope, I'm hoping we'll get some momentum with it. I think as it gets warmer, hopefully, and once things start happening, we will start to see the results and start to see what works and what doesn't and start to trust each other more and communicate with each other more and just crap starts getting done. So that's what I'm hoping happens. Right now, we've had one official meeting of all three of us and we did set some goals and there's a few like hard setbacks that we need to get through before I think we can consistently do it every single week um, and those ones are kind of messing with us right now uh, there's a gas leak in the house and so we need to get that fixed don't know exactly how much that's gonna cost we need to figure out some things with the bank um, and storing being able to pull money and save money and 
figure out who has that power and all that stuff because I'm 18 but the other two aren't so it's just it's just weird there's real weird rules with that um I'm hoping it's kind of scary to say this because I I don't know if it'll happen but I want to at least have it mostly done by in three months. I think that's possible if there's nothing majorly wrong that we need to fix. Even if there is, I'm pretty sure we could if we just set our minds to it. I have enough time, so it's not that. And honestly, there's just no other excuse. We have time, we have money. I don't, it's just, it's frustrating that every major obstacle has been taken from us, but we still haven't made and done anything. And, yeah, it, it makes me feel really spoiled and it makes me feel really, it's just stupid. It's just, we just need to do it. Yeah, and yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah, so I think that's all for the vlog today also. Eden told me to wrap it up, but I will see you guys tomorrow and we will keep you updated weekly on how this is going. Um. Peace out from three spoiled brat kids.